Hey guys, Plunder Cam here. So I thought I'd do a video on how to find bottle dumps based on information from Town GIS and any topographical maps that you can find online. Um, this kind of works the same for aerials, but you usually on an aerial map you'll not see the contours and you won't have um, easy view of property lines or rock walls to look at. But you'll, it's kind of the same principles though. <laughs> So, we'll start with, I made a mock-up map here, so we'll start with a GIS map, like a typical one. But we'll start out with um, this. So this is, obviously, it was a farm back in, uh, let's see, this could have been an 1800s farm. House is right here. The barn's right here, outbuildings. Now, as you can see, the dotted lines right here, these are rock walls. And anywhere where there's a gap or there's a large gap like that right there, or if there's, you know, some maps will have it marked out where the gaps are, that is the openings of the rock wall. So as you'll see also on this map, there are red lines, and those are marked to be boundary lines. And these swirly lines right here, these are your contours of the map. Um, this right here is water, so that's like a stream, and this is like a little pond up in here. Down here, the little blue sh little uh, dots and squ squiggles right here, this is all swamp lands right here, up here. So, and then this is just another house maybe, and then you can actually see this is actually marked out by someone else's property. Anyway, what you look for first is, if you're looking at a map of an old uh, area, which was, must have been like an old farm, as you can see the old boundaries of fields and rock walls. Um, you'll see that the road currently is stops right here, the driveway, but the line of the rock walls makes you see that originally it probably went further down. What you'll also see is that um, the rock walls also have the gaps, which is very good. You look When you go out exploring, you want to look for gaps in the rock walls. And that's either usually op an opening to go to go somewhere. So it's sometimes it's going to a field, um, get to a water source, or just look for bottles. Now, there are three. Sp there are some spots in here you can see that you would love. To, you would like to look for bottles at. Uh, one spot that's very blatant is you go from this is the house right here. Directly behind it, you have a gap. Then you also have a ravine right here. As you can see, it's marked out by these. I should have probably marked it um, going down, but what you'd want it to see is the um, elevation going down in the ravine because they don't dump uphill. They dump downhill, as you know. So you go through the stone wall, the gap, and you get to the ravine. They probably could have dumped right around in here where the, um, basically where the gap is, which I'll show you right around in here is where they could have dumped, right down into the ravine. Out of sight, out of mind, and down away into the land they couldn't easily lose in the, use in the corner of the field in the ravine. Or they could have dumped right over the rock wall at the end of the ravine into the swamp area. That's kind of hard to see, but that's swampy area right there. Now, what also is blatant is that if you see right here, these lines are ridiculously close together. That means there's a very steep gradient drop, usually, or a very steep incline. In this case, I'm going to say it's a drop and it's going to swamp land right here. So what you want to look at is it's behind the house toward this way. So that is a very good indication that they dumped in this this very steep drop down to the low land they couldn't use for farming. Also what, so those are two very likely spots for dumps. Again, you want to look for um, rock wall alignments, um, gaps, and then also where wetlands are behind the house. Um, but also what could have happened is, you see how this is an old farm murder here, that now it stopped today, it would stop right here, but originally it probably went all the way down toward the water. They could have dumped possibly down over here as well, but more likely this could have also been for drinking water or some sort of like access to water because it, the river is right here. Um, you also want to be careful though, as you can see up here, of property lines, um, which is where you'd have to probably ask permission to another homeowner. Assuming you got permission here, which I would hope you did. Um, Basically, right here, you can see there's another property boundary. Um, actually, I forgot to mention this. Right here is the end of it. 
But anyway, this is another property boundary up in here. Um, as you can see, the river right here. So if there is a dump over here, you have to get permission of this homeowner um, for it to be legal. And this house is probably, I was going to guess, built sometimes in the 50s. While that house may not be older, there may be another dump behind it from an, another house that was older. Even if it's not showing over here, and if this was all woods right here, and there was just a, there's you can't see a house there, check older maps and stuff, just in case there might have been a um, old house out there that could just be a foundation nowadays, but it might have been an, a farmhouse originally. And even though this is a 1950s, 60s house, it could be an 1800s dump way back here because of the old farmhouse that's now gone. Also up here, you also want to note, take note of anywhere you see a pond and then a really low stream. And it kind of gets really tight in there. Usually that can also symbolize a dam or some sort of mill was over there. And what you also want to look for is they'd want, they wouldn't dump up into the pond area. They would dump after the stuff went through the dam. So down over here, there could be a dump somewhere. Um... Also noted, um, again, you want to look for if it's on your property or not. So yes, tips for this are, one, you want to look for swamps. Swamps is a big um, uh, big key to finding dumps. Um, look for rock wall, um, rock wall um, gap and formation, which means basically you, you want to look for where the gaps are, see where people had traveled through, look for where the ends of fields are, all that kind of, or the original fields are, and all that kind of stuff. Um, you also want to look for low gradient. What that means is basically you, again, you want to look for um, anywhere that's a low-lying area, and you also want to look behind old farmhouse. So anywhere that's all behind the old farmhouse, whether it be the rock wall gaps, swamps, little gradients. Um, again, if you were gonna look for, so this is for looking up for a farm uh, dumps. This is for farm dumps. Now, if you wanna look for, um, if you wanna look for uh, basically, Oh yeah, wait, so, and you also want to do, uh, follow roads. So old mill dumps, which are like grist mills, which is eat very, you want to look for, basically you want to look for anywhere, well, in order to look for a mill, first of all, you want to look for, um, uh, I don't know how to say this, just, uh, change, uh, in, tightness, I guess, of waterways. It's probably a better way to explain that, but uh, basically you want to look for where it turns into a pond then very tightly into a stream. That can indicate a dam. Now you also want to look for um, uh, below dam equals dumps because they would not dump in front of the dam because that's what they're using to propel the water. They dump after it where the water is draining out of the dam. Now, again, this is kind of a, you know, amateur kind of thing, but this does work. Um, finding dumps is how I find a lot of my dumps. Um, so this is pretty much what you want to follow to, uh, find bottles. So um, thank you for watching. Um, I hope you learned something in this video and uh, I'll see you next time. One quick thing I uh, forgot to mention here um, is that dumps will always usually be very close. Um, they didn't want to travel too, too far. Um, though they wanted to travel far enough that the smell would not reach the house um, or be a nuisance to them. So basically a general rule to keep in mind, for the most part, five, less than 500 feet away, um, it's usually generally going to be an old dump, uh, but that's not always the case. Uh, and then more than usually more than 500 feet away will be generally new, but again, that's not always the case. Um, I have found really, really old dumps far away, than, far, further away than 500 feet, and I've found really new dumps uh, further than, um, I mean, closer than 500 feet. 
But again, you just want to kind of remember that rule at that dumps that um, they would not usually dump too, too far away from the farmhouse. Um, and the new reason the new dumps are usually generally farther away is because as time went on, new machinery and stuff, they were able to transport all the stuff further and further away. Um, so yeah, again, thank you for watching. I hope you did learn something very interesting in this video. I hope you'll find this information useful next time you're looking for old dumps. Okay, see ya.